Facebook Live shortly. Hey, good morning, Drop Off Line Sports without the star. Star's going to be back coming up, I think, either on Wednesday or on Thursday, but she will be back. And then, you know, next week we start the whole school thing up again, so we'll have to figure something out as far as school is concerned. Um, but Drop Off Line Sports from the driveway, uh, it seems like it's been a long time since we've done Drop Off Line Sports from the actual school drop off line, but really it hasn't been that long at all. Just a little bit over a month. And, you know, kids no longer have the opportunity to have a real summer. Hey, listen to this. Anybody guess who this is? The song's ending. A little power ballad right there in the background. Anybody recognize the power ballad? Uh oh. There's, you know who that is? Def Leppard. Power ballad. That was Europe and Carrie, by the way. Yeah, look, my man Dalvin got it. It was Europe. Connie, good morning. Dalvin, good morning. Um, all right, last night, anybody want to hit the uh, home run derby? Yeah, it was all right. I mean, it was entertaining. A little entertainment, right, last night? Everybody thought that Swarber got screwed because, I mean, really, dad and son didn't follow protocol. That's what you're supposed to do. But um, I don't know. It doesn't matter. It was entertaining, right? And he knew that dude was going to win because he's playing in his home park. Uh, Heath Bartley, good morning. Stephanie, good morning. Corey Hall says top five Def Leppard for today. You know, Corey, I think we did top five Def Leppard last week. Seriously. Barbara thought that Schwarber got screwed last night. Yeah, Harper and Dad didn't really follow protocol at all, did they? Brandon Reef, good morning. Colleen, good morning to you. Um, I think we did, Corey, last week, top five Def Leppard because I went, um, what did I do? Foolin', Photograph, uh, Rock, Rock, Till You Drop, Animal, and Rock of Ages. Yeah, I did that last week, I think. So we can think of another one later on today, but that's a good one. Stephanie, Connie, good morning. Swarber did an awesome job. I thought overall it was pretty good. Um, I thought it was pretty good overall. I did enjoy it. Um, really, this is kind of the downtime of year. I would invite you to do this. You guys remember Austin Collie, right? Austin Collie used to be the wide receiver for the Colts. Had three really good years and then obviously kept sustaining um, head trauma, concussions, and he had to, to stay away from the game. It was really good. Good morning, D-Wig, my man. Hope you and the family are okay. Um, but Austin Collie joined me yesterday. It was a really good conversation. Um, really good. I, my advice to you is to check it out, 1070thefan.com. I promise, promise you will really enjoy it uh, with Austin Collie from yesterday. Uh, Mike Wells on yesterday, too. A lot of discussion regarding the Colts. A day, a week and a day away from the Colts reporting to camp up in Westfield, and I'll be up there a ton for that. Colleen says she loved Austin Collie, still have his jersey. He was really good yesterday, too. Really good. Dan Orlovsky, by the way, joins us today. Dan Orlovsky, his whole thing. And good morning, Jay. Did you hear Indy got the Final Four? Final Four in 2026. Um, Final Four 2021. They should have it every four years. It doesn't need to go to stinking. It doesn't need to go to Minneapolis or. Listen, Final Fours. You ready? Final Fours. Indy, Atlanta, New Orleans, San Antonio. That's all you really need. That's it. Sean Patrick Turley, good morning to you. You're all rocking the content on a daily basis, man. If I don't get you content in the sports world, I'm going to get you content someplace else. That's why you guys listen. Heath, good morning. You know who would make a good interview on your show? Me, Heath Bartlett and Bloomfield. Everybody would be tuning in. Um, all right, what else? Oh, yeah, All-Star Game later on tonight. I mentioned Dan Orlovsky is going to join me today. Since the last time Dan was on the show, if you remember Dan, uh, Dan is a former Colts quarterback, NFL quarterback, and he started writing for The Athletic. But since he joined us last, I think he's been hired on by ESPN to do some college stuff. He is really good. Dan Orlovsky later on today. Ah, oh, I know what I found out yesterday. Have you guys seen this? All right. There is an event that annually, this might be actually biannually, <clears throat> but at least annually comes to town. It is called Horror Hound Weekend. You guys ever heard of Horror Hound Weekend? 
Horror Hound Weekend is when you get a bunch of horror film at one time actors and actresses and performers together and fans get to go to whatever hotel they're doing this from and they get to get autographs and pictures and stuff like that. Um, yeah, see, Corey, I agree, four-year rotation. Anyway, they do this a couple of times a year. Anyway, uh, coming up at the end of August, it's going to be held at the Marriott, JW Marriott downtown. It is a Lost Boys reunion, and I just saw this yesterday. Uh, these are just some of the stars here. But Kiefer Sutherland and Jason Patrick will be there, um, <laughs> signing autograph and taking pictures. But the rest of the list is incredible, like Lou Diamond Phillips, um, a, uh, William Zabka, John Lawrence is going to be there, Martin Cove, who was the Cobra Kai sensei. you got to check this out, Horrorhound, I think horrorhound.com. Uh, but it is an awesome list of guests coming up at the end of August, and I've got to get a number of them on. I don't even do it justice by explaining it. It's so good. Kevin, good morning to you, too. I mean, so good. Uh, missing persons. Destination unknown right here. But seriously, I don't even do it justice in explaining how good the list is. But um, I'm... I was talking about this because somebody brought up it was uh, Corey Feldman's birthday yesterday. And somebody asked me, and Corey Feldman's like 47, um, which makes us all feel old. And I am. I'm 48. But we were talking about the best Corey Feldman movies. And my favorite is The Lost Boys. And then Stand By Me. Lost Boys, Stand By Me. But um, and Lost Boys Reunion coming to Indy at the end of August. I love the film Lost Boys. I haven't heard about anybody else from that film being here, but... Uh, Kiefer Sutherland and Jason Patrick's pretty good find right there. Two guys that did some other stuff. And Keith, Kiefer Sutherland's been pretty big, man. Really good. Bruce, good morning to you. Where's Laney? Laney is at Nat Nats this morning. Laney's got another day tomorrow uh, where she's going to be at Nat Nats, and she'll be back coming up on Thursday right here. Heath Bartlett says license to drive. Some would agree with that. Brandon Reeves said, should the Steelers look to trade Le'Veon Bell now since his agent said it's likely it's his last year. Um, I don't know if you're going to get anything out of him right now, but, I mean, if he's looking for more money the Steelers want to give, you might want to do that, right? I don't know. What do you think the trade market is for Le'Veon Bell? What do you think you get back if you're the Steelers for Le'Veon Bell right now? Um, and I don't know if you want that dude sitting, right? Like that He wants to sit and because he wants to get long-term. I don't know, man. That's just the value of the running backs today, right? The value of the running backs. We talked about that on Friday's show. Edgar Frog, Pappy, you got it. Edgar Frog from the Lost Boys right there. The Lost Boys reunion. I, I just want the two uh, Karate Kid guys on. I've been trying to get William Zabka on forever. Absolutely forever. Hey, if anybody's around downtown coming up this weekend, there is something called uh, the Indiana Black Expo Celebrity All-Star Game. And Paris and Reggie Wayne put it on. And I'm going to be playing as a part of that coming up on Saturday. A lot of athletes will be in it, um, including me. And uh, it'll be really fun downtown coming up on Saturday. So if you're around the convention center, you want to stop by, stop by and say hello. Good morning, Jennifer. Stop by and say hello and uh, get involved um, and have some fun with us. Uh, a lot of former Colts players, some present current Colts players, maybe some current Pacer players. Uh, normally, you never really know who shows up until you show up yourself. Um, uh, NFL trades never amount to much, usually low round draft picks. I, I don't know if I'd even want to mess at all because I, I can't, if the Steelers don't want to give a longer term deal to Le'Veon Bell, I don't know if any other team would want to do that either, you know? And certainly I don't know if any other team would want to pay the price that it would take to bring in Le'Veon Bell. As Brandon Reef wants to know if Marlon Mack is going to be ready for the preseason. Um, I don't know. He might be held back just a little bit. I don't I don't know if that doesn't mean he's not ready, but he may be held back just a little bit. Kurt, good morning to you. Drop Off Line Sports is brought to you by Bobcat of Indy. I mentioned the uh, Major League Baseball All-Star Game is later on tonight. Uh, we'll probably talk a little bit about the Home Run Derby last night. Still trying to track down John Sin, the World Series of Poker champion. And I got a busy week for you, to say the least. Um, you know, here's somebody else that I mentioned regarding Indiana Black Expo. A guy that's going to be here, and I know this because we follow each other on Twitter. If you remember Al B. Sure, good morning, Jacob Rush. You remember Al B. Sure? 
who had the uh, album in the late 80s, In Effect Mode, Night and Day was the song. Al B. Sure is going to be here, and he's going to be performing a free concert. And what's awesome about that is Al B. Sure was a great athlete coming out of high school. Um, Iowa, actually, he, he turned down a scholarship, I think in 87, to play for Iowa because he wanted to track down a music career. Much for him worked out pretty well, I would think, right? Good morning, Rob Ellis. Chris Roberts writes this. Did you see the Hunter Green threw 19 pitches over 100 miles an hour in the Reds minor league game on Sunday? That guy can be a legendary player if he can keep doing it. I did see that. It's nice to see the Reds have um, some farm guys recently start to rise a little bit, too. Good morning, Brian Swafford. Any other questions we got this morning? Um, I do. I got to think of a good ranker here. Uh, the ranker yesterday was songs that we screwed the lyrics up, like songs that we didn't really know the lyrics very well and messed the lyrics up. That was the top five there. If uh, Bill Benner's watching, Bill Benner will enjoy this right here. Bill Benner may be the only one to enjoy this. You guys know what this is, right? This is probably, it's going back. This is about the edge of my really good knowledge right here. What, 1970? The edge of it. Wasn't Iowa really dominant in the late 80s with Kevin Gamble and B.J. Armstrong? They were both really good. Kevin Gamble played in the NBA with the Celtics, most notably. B.J. Armstrong with the Bulls. They are pretty good. Um, I was talking about, it was football. I'm sorry, I didn't specify that. I'll be sure was a quarterback in high school. True story. Uh, Knights in white satin, everybody. <laughs> I think it's the first time for this song on Drop Off Line Sports. All right, really quick, join in here. We were talking about this yesterday, and in fact, I shot a video. They were trying to think about in the 10 years, the fan, I've been here for nine of the fan years, but of the 10 years, the fan uh, has been on the air here in Indy. Uh, the greatest college basketball moments and of course you know we brought up they were asking questions about Christian Watford shot Michael Grady and I were actually there um, talked about that yesterday we got Butler's tournament run especially that one here versus Duke and the Hayward heave that was just off um, against Duke we talked about that um, I tried to think of anything Indiana State I can bring up just to bring up Indiana State but uh, you guys can knock that idea around a little bit. College basketball in the past 10 years. you got to make it 10 years. And I'm sure we'll probably use some of your stuff. 1070thefan.com or you can just drop it on Twitter at the 1070thefan handle. Jay writes this. Clayton Anderson will be at the Jackson County Fair Monday, July the 23rd. You should come out. My man CA, this is a, a great CA time of year because he gets out and about. My man's playing a lot of shows for sure. And, yeah, you're right. Uh, that is one. Jackson County Fair coming up on the 23rd. Foo Fighters a week from Thursday. You guys keep that in mind, too. The Foo. A My mom just called, guys. Sorry about that. I guess I better run. <laughs> you guys have a great day. Drop off flight sports. Hey, continue the conversation here. Um, we got to do a quick ranker before I call my mom back. Hold on one second. Prince and Kiss. I like that. What's up, Ron Moon? Uh, stereo MCs. Not a good ranker. I do love this song, though. You hear my mom call. Gonna get myself, gonna get myself connected. Um, yeah. I don't think I don't think my mom knows that Drop Off Line Sports is on right now. See you later, Colleen. All right. I got to run here. Drop Off Line Sports back with you tomorrow. Brought to you by Bob Catavendi. Thank you very much. And thank you guys for listening. Austin Colley is a great listen. 1070thefan.com. And Dan Orlovsky, later on today, you will not want to miss. I promise you that. And remember, Backyard Bourbon Broadcast and Ride to the Reds. Get your spot. Ride to the Reds. Win that. Beginning Thursday, Manly's Irish Mutt on the east side. Brought to you by Evan Williams. We're going to see the Reds and the Cardinals a week from Wednesday. And I want you on that bus. Win your spots beginning Thursday. Thursday, Manly's Irish Mutt over on the east side. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much. I got to call my mom back. Take it easy.